Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. It's also a recorded video for those of you in the future. I know there are people from the future there. Today we're just going to take a look at Acoustic Audio's new thing, Cardinal. But for the past hour or so, we just had fun scoring something. So it's a piece of music that I've been writing live, actually. And why did I do this? It's, it was fun, for sure. But I want to make sure that Cardinal... Cardinal, how do you say that? Works on things I do, not things they do. So I designed a piece of music that is kind of in the on the dark side uh, because I'm kind of lacking a compressor that can do dark waters, floating things. And I still haven't found it in plugin form and I'm still looking for it. So I think Cardinal will not do it, but I, I tried it out. And I guarantee you, it sounds cool. So um, we're gonna uh, we're gonna do this. All right. So <laughs> I have I had so much fun doing it. But what we should try and do is first and foremost, let's hear how the whole thing sounds. Do I have stuff that goes around the the mix? No, right. Everything's kind of all hardware. Everything's here. Okay. So. This is my mix bus, the green little thing. And I want to try Cardinal right off the bat. Oh, I don't have it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do we fake this? I know how we fake this. Patchwork. I didn't move it in the scanned plugins, but we're gonna we're gonna work our way around this. Because when I opened when I opened Nuendo, I didn't it wasn't here. So don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna do this. So we, do, we go in the disabled here, Acoustica, Cardinal Pre. So I'm loading this into Patchwork and I'm super confident because it's going to work, right? I'm going to give you one thing that right off the bat, Acoustica did right. And they, they, they don't like me that much anymore because I am um, sort of like a reckless marauder, <laughs> marauder. Is that a word I'm looking for? Probably not. But I think they're, uh, you know, I, they did something right, super right, which is the responsiveness of the UI. They're getting there. They're so, this already is so fast. Come on. This is good. It's doable. Everything is super responsive and nice. So I don't know what this emulates, but. It's got an ultra version, and so far in the first initial version, when you're switching preamps and playing with ultra, I would recommend that you keep ultra either on or off. I don't know if that's the trial that does it, but um, you gotta reload your preamp if you go ultra or off because it's not gonna remember exactly. But I think they're gonna fix it soon. I mean, it's been out for what 24 hours, not even. So let's try and play what I'm having here with with different preamps, and I want a line preamp for my mix bus and uh, just just to feel the the effects of this so i think i have the loop down right and let's try it so where am i here Okay, I, I like the behavior of the ultra kind of thing. It's not it's not crashing, it's not exploding, it's not, you know, this is nice. This is nice. This is nice. So right off the bat, it's it's got a nice color. But I think we're better suited for something in the single tracks. So let me move this dude down to the thing that needs it. Actually, let me keep it here. And let me do let me do the drums. Let's just keep playing with, with Cardinal a lot. One thing I think would benefit uh, would be what this one. So let me just move this stuff. Let me hear these drums. No, whoa, what did I put here? No. <laughs> let me do patchwork here. 
And let me do, I, we gotta do this. Let me do one, then I'll copy the setting and we'll do this. So I wanna have th this one, this one, no, disabled, Acoustica, Cardinal, pre, I wanna do the compressor now. These drums needs compre need compressing, so. And I wanna get these right from the start. This plugin is an amazing 1176 sort of emulation. I don't quite like it on the slow fa on the slow stuff, but on fast is nice. I still have an issue with the attack hold. So they got attack, threshold, sidechain filter, stereo link. Come on. Everything's everything we know, right? Schmod, we know from what Acoustica does, but there's a release hold and then attack hold that it stays at 2.0. Honestly, I think zero is the thing. Then you go left, right, mid or side. He can go comp, limiter, saturation, like other plugins they've done and other people. So let's play with these, just drums. You hear it? It's nice. Let's let okay, let me move these. Let me move these from stereo to limit from limiter to compressor because the slope I'm using is limiter, which is great if you want to do 1176 stuff, but hear the compressor out. You know why I went here, right? To the drums. They're not powerful enough. So let's do this. I'm telling you, this is good. I <laughs> I was about to say, for as much as I hate them, <laughs> not true, not true. Um, you hear it? It's nice. Have we heard that stuff from Acoustica? In all honesty, no. <laughs> this is very good, very fast, and it kind of has a nice sound. So, you know, I would buy this if I wanted a FET emulator, FET, from Acoustica. It actually bakes it very well, and it almost has also kind of a sound that feels to me a little bit VCA. So I know it's a Varimu. I don't want to say it's not a Varimu. It feels, it feels very good. And the wet, dry, wet, everything, let's keep going. Okay. Okay, I like this. Strings. We do the strings as well. And they need way more power. So we try and do a saturation kind of thing. Good work. Also, testament to... I don't want to jinx it, but I'm using patchwork. It works. Anyway, so let's try these this stringy things. Okay, here... We need men. You heard that hit? <laughs> Good. Thank you, people, for being here. I'm so happy that it's kind of, it's it's getting there, right? So I want to move the compressor. It it remembered the settings. Good. And I want the EQ now. Right. So I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> See people laughing in chat. That's good. Okay, so that's the EQ. I want to EQ this because the, the cellos are not aggressive enough. So let's try this. Let's try and call for some preamp and maybe a mic preamp. I'm going to keep the oversampling at one. It's okay. I like aliasing a lot. So let's try this.
Hear the apocalypse? Can't you drag the DLS instead of rescan or, or patchwork? I will, uh, I could, yes, but I will just copy paste now because I have EQ and compressor. It's okay. I will just reuse these last instance here, Cardinal EQ and Cardinal Comp, and I'll just copy it now. So I have a channel strip sort of in patchwork. I should actually name it Cardinal EQ Comp. Boom. So we can call it. That's good idea. Good idea. That I don't that I don't forget this stuff. Uh, so now we compress it a little bit. Oh, it was already compressing. Okay, but I want it. I want it probably. Mm, let's do copy. Let's go to B. Let's paste it, and let's try this. Is it doing it? Yes. Okay. Maybe the, it could be faster. Honest, honestly, I EQ'd into that setting of the compressor. Man, this setting is nice. We're going to keep it exactly where it is. Hi, cellos have been done. Thank you very much. Uh, what should we play on? Oh, the brass, the brass. Patchwork. Here's, let's, let's try this. We go boom. And Cardinal EQ comp. Yeah, you can you can use it whatever. Yeah. So let's 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 bypass the comp for now, although it was kind of nice to have it there. Let's bypass it here. And let's try the EQ. Let's reset things. I should probably save the preset like this, right? Completely clean. Right? There's also an HP. Yes, yes. Let's save it like this so the EQ is neutral, right? Let's try it on the brass. Like this it's not too dark i would kind of want it a little bit darker but i wouldn't i wouldn't mind i wouldn't mind let's try the um let's try the other drums okay so we should send geist highs and geist two to all grow all perks right this Okay, because now I have a bus for them here. So I can do patchwork. Look how <laughs> slow I am each time. Right? So I got the writing, the songwriting, as close to bland as much as I could. But you, you hear it? How it's just developing? This is nice. This is good. This is, this is uh, probably the one product you can buy. And <laughs> no, it's good. It's 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 cool. It's cool. Let's try um, these drummy things. OK, 
Okay. Who's this guy? Not this one. This one. Why does it feel in bypass? Am I on the right channel? Probably not. Oh, because they're not. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. I see that. This has to go there. There we go. Nice. Even the extreme highs, I kind of carved and then I re brought in, sounding super good. Super cool. Okay, what do we have in terms of old scenes? Let's try this. Oh, right. There's one sound that could be nicer. This, this dude here. Let me drag, where are you here? Zebra. Is it the HZ? Yes. Okay. Okay, so let's let's actually I could saturate the well let's let's EQ it first. Let's do zero zero zero. This, look how fast that is, right? I wanna kinda find a little bit less weight in the low mids and I wanna give it more detail. It's nice that I have the numbers because I, I, I'm looking for specific areas and I know already, hope to. Hold on, this is awesome. Have you heard how the preamp saturation created a complete, like a pedal tone? This is good. It's a little bit crackling up. Hold on, it can't, it doesn't work. Maybe it would need a limiter before. Let's try ultra. No, 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 no. I liked it before, but. Okay, 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 let's do it like this. We need a cardinal comp before. So let me let me swap them to be a limiter so that it doesn't allow the preamp of the EQ to get oh no. <laughs> Come on, can I undo this? <laughs> well, I have B. I think I have B. Yes, okay. So we need three rows. I will do this. There's a swap command, I think, somewhere, but I'm too old for remembering that stuff. So we should be good to go, okay? Right? Okay, the compressor here has to be uh, used as a limiter. So we're gonna go super fast attack, super fast release, no attack hold, slope of a limiter, setting of a limiter, and let's try and find where these lies.
Okay, 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 almost, right? It doesn't do it anymore. I mean, I like this. Come on, this is sound design, huh? Um, this is kind of kind kind of cool, right? Okay, so what I was doing here is this. Um, I had just the EQ, and what happened was I really love where the preamp is going, but hear it out. Sometimes it clicks, but it's really good. So we're gonna do before and after just with the EQ on the synth. Nice, right? But Yeah, how faulted that is, but sometimes it has a little bit too much click, right? Because it's it's levering up. So I wanted to use Cardinal as a limiter, which I loaded like this. The cool thing is that within Patchwork, I can go mix 0 to 100. Let's try parallel of these in Patchwork. I like this. Okay, let's try it. Who else is there to use? Nothing, right? I mean, everything else is kind of low, low frequencies. <laughs> I know what's going on now. We're exploding. I know what that is. Let me just check that we... I mean, this is off the buffer size of life at this moment. This is just with what I've dialed in. I think we're hitting CPU law <laughs> destruction, right? But I have no ASIO guard, which is also called Asgard. So that's what we're going to do now. Let's hear it. Let's find out if this synth of kind of gives us room to breathe. Let's keep these always on top here. You hear it, right? We're, <laughs> we're dying under our audio performance because these plugins, for as light as Acoustica tries to make them, to make them, they're obviously not exactly uh, easy on the CPU. So what I would do is probably remove these initially in bypass from my mix bus, but we don't have Asgard. So ASIO Guard is this mid part, and it allows you to push the buffer size into a secondary buffer, the buffer length into a secondary buffer. So it's acting in parallel for stuff that is a little bit, sessions that are a little bit heavier. So you go to audio system, if you're using Nuendo or Cubase, and you go activate ASIO guard. So we could probably start saying goodbye because if things explode now, we'll never be able to recover it. I saved, but um, let's see if it works. Right, I'm gonna go ASIO guard level high, uh, or maybe normal, and I'm gonna apply, right? It's been nice <laughs> meeting you, thank you very much. No, fingers crossed. Nothing's really happening, apparently. But you see now we have ASIO guard filled in, okay? So now we press play, we should have much more performance now. like this. 
I like this. And we also were not clicking, right? I totally didn't like what I did on the percussions. So I completely bypassed it. Way too obvious, way too bright. I don't know what I was thinking. And even the cellos, they've been done in isolation and I can tell because they're not, in context, they're not really working. The EQ is just, the EQ is good for them, but it's not good for the song because it was done in, in isolation. So Electron Let's Play, just fire, thank you. Glad you like it. It's it's nice, right? But but is it is it gamey? I, I want to say this thing, but I would hate for Acoustic Audio to make money off what I'm going to say. But this thing has quite a movie-like uh, sound to it. The EQ and the compressor as well. So it kind of lends itself to it. But don't go around buy stuff just because I say that. I get zero money. If anything, I get just the stare from Acoustic Audio, whenever I, I talk about them. <laughs> As I said, I'm, I, I'm, you know, I can't stay at the parties, but I'm like way, way, way back in the, in the chill out garden. So let's redo the, the cellos. This is a solution I could use. I always like to hide my strings, if that makes any sense, like a lot. I like to put them where I don't want to write string music. So, but I use strings a lot because they just, you know, they attach to some, I don't even want to know what I want to say, but you get the idea. This is kind of um, carving the cellos exactly where they want to sing. So we're using the parts that are outside of their prominent color to kind of give the idea of that. And I think this plays better in the long run because, you know, strings are can be too obvious sometimes. So it still sounds better than what I had before. It's very peculiar now. It's like very, you want to give a tone to this. But I like this combination. If I got to be honest with you, these settings, you should, you know, just, just, just make note of them. It's like a 50% wet. It's fully stereo linked because I need the lows to be coherent. And it's zero attack and release holds, full compressor, fastest attack, fastest release, tons of threshold reduction, and there's a sidechain filter of about 70 hertz. Preamp on, nice. This, this is, has been working a lot. So now what if we take the, the, the drums and the perks and we kind of buff them a little bit? only a little bit. I'm just going to take the V drums and I'm going to just go higher because I want to use an instance of patchwork with the compressor to fill in a sort of a mix bus vibe. Honestly, it kind of didn't work for me in terms of mix bus compressor, but uh, for example, Mystic kind of sounded tons better in that role, but it could work. So I'm going to, I'm going to pitch the drums up a little bit, not pitch, pitch in volume. Like I'm going to push them up in volume, especially the low drums, the perks. I'm going to keep low there, but I want more transient to use Cardinal. Okay, now we have it. We have those drums all the way there. Let's do something interesting before we go. I like long delay tails. What can, <laughs> what can I say? And this is my black hole of what? Who's? Why is this guy resonating so much? Who is feeding that stuff to me? You know, I have no idea why that is happening that much. But it sounds good. So this would be horrible to just print and then forget. So one thing, 
just one quick thing. These drums, I need a little bit more like on the darker side. Something easy. this I have to go rewatch yeah ciao chris thank you very much and uh, absolutely yeah you will be able to rewatch this on twitch and then i will cut it on on uh, youtube as well so thank you for being here absolutely catch soon with more stuff uh, what do we have to do so this one i liked yeah drums thank you very much people for being here it means so much that we're you know doing this together not stiffy Kind of thing. So cardinal comp. I want it all wet. I want attack milliseconds probably super fast. I'm gonna try something no. 10. Point 33. I you know release is kind of fast. Kind of kind of slow. Uh sidechain filter, I'm gonna go 125. <laughs> Threshold up, preamp, probably on, or probably off. And just maybe a little bit more oversampling if we don't explode. And I want to try and find a sweet spot here. So without mute and solos. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was loud. Didn't sound bad though. Sorry. Sorry for staring you. <laughs> Did I wake you up? <laughs> so makeup at zero. Quite important. Let's try this. The drums sound fine, for sure, but how about the whole thing? I, th I'm, I fear this is gonna get a little bit out of hands with this compressor, but... Gotta be honest with you, this sounds sounds good now. No preamp, no nothing. Uh, I want the preamp off as well. Just using the curves now. I don't want color on the mix bus. I don't usually. Oh, there's modes. All right, we do hyper digital, hyper digital. Let's do this. And now I'm compressing and then I'm equalizing. And I want to add 
filmic lows. Let's see if this thing does it. this it kind of kind of works kind of works um well, i i gotta say i gotta say this uh let me see what i have done here then i'll read the chat because i think uh it changes speed not it, it changes pitch not nice ah <laughs> yeah yeah oh god yeah, it shouldn't, right? And also, it bends up and down. I <laughs> I had my share of recording, playing a lot of stuff with a great acoustic and um, electric electric guitarist first. And he's he's got like he's developed quite an ear, obviously with tuning, classical guitar and stuff. We had so much fun because synthesizers they kind of full, but it's not the synth. I do it on purpose, and it's kind of <laughs> will bother people. So let's let's. Concentrate on these settings, and then I'm, I'm gonna close it up. Uh, it works. It works. Four milliseconds, 0.79 release, uh, side chain at 120, the full comp slope, mix full width, no preamp, comp mode, attack holds at zero, nothing like that. The power, what is this, input trim? Ah, power, one, two, three, four. I haven't touched power. Okay, power two, whatever. Yeah. I haven't, <laughs> I forgot about this knob. Who cares? You know, glue it. It's fine. I have tons of analog gear that has knobs I've never touched. Here, here it goes. You know, we can add a digital knob to it. Attack four and release 0.80. This thing kind of floats. If you can't go faster than 0.33, which I would use maybe to feather touch, just own it. Go blatantly blatantly to the other side point at like 800 milliseconds has a nice nice vibe but in all honesty it wasn't until i tweaked the schmod to 2.8 that the whole thing completely opened up and now it does feel very new now it has a little bit of that no stereo link and then the EQ after the compressor. Oh, this kind of made it interesting. So what did I do? I ended up not using a low shelf, but I added 1.4 at 50 hertz and 1.1 1 .1 at 6,300. And then I touched the shelf on the 7K, 0.3, top notch, minus one. And then I added a, a little bit of 2200. Now, where did I take these numbers? I know that um, a lot of the stuff I've been given as reference, I mean, you might not like them, of course, but why did I type 73, uh, like 6300, 67, A1? It's frequencies that have a lot of meaning in a lot of, in the keys usually that this stuff is written to into and the references i've been given for a lot of scoring and game music had a little bit of an edge in those areas so i you know kind of try them out so 50 22 63 remember those i mean it might not work but you know three areas and then i am actually cutting the 7300 which makes sense. I like it a little bit darker. It was getting a little bit too, too, too fast. 
on on the the, the shimmery thing. People, this thing works. So uh, now they're gonna ask, when are you gonna update the other stuff, Grid? So it is probably the first hyper compressor that maybe Mystique as well felt really good. Uh, but couldn't do track-based stuff to me that much. But that would be a little bit more on the mix bus side. This one, it's it's always context. These songs don't need snare drum compressor, right? Like a rock tune. But I gotta be honest with you, if you try and use these settings, like the, the extreme limiter stuff on a single snare, which I have tried, it's a, it's a faithful 1176. So if you, if you say it's a very new, I can't get my real Vary Muse to be that fast. I just can't. They they don't do that. But I don't know if they're gonna be mad at me. This is a great all-round emulator for compressors. It, it can sound VCA, it can sound fat, and it can sound like an 1176, not fat big, and it can sound Vary Mu. I gotta be honest with you, it's a it's more. I like these better than other stuff they've made, and it's got three distinct colors that you can make. So if, if I had to choose, I'd buy this rather than, you know, if, if you have limited budget, you know, try these out. So this is a trial, it isn't the full version. So that's it. I have nothing else to say. I'm keeping these on screen so you can copy and make your own famous music. But people, it was amazing. We had a lot of fun composing this. And then we, you know, got dressed, went on stage together and said, hi, hello, this is Cardinal. And we're going to say whatever we please. And we ended up saying good things. So if you don't hear from me in the next 15 minutes, you know, <laughs> you know what to do. Thank you very much, people. See you really, really soon. Thanks again. Ciao. I would like to spend two words on why this video is possible. It happens because of my patrons. I have a Patreon in which I teach songwriting, scoring for video games and writing soundtracks, being creative, exploring hardware synthesizers, analog outboard, virtual instruments, sample libraries, mixing and mastering. We talk about recording. There's a lot of cool people in there. Check my Patreon out. If you would like to support me, it really means a lot to me and it makes these videos and the future ones possible. So thank you very much.